Angelo J. The Hook, La Piedra, 1920-1999, was a Chicago mobster and member of the Chicago Outfit, involved in extensive loan sharking operations in the city's first ward during the 1970s and 1980s. He earned his nickname, The Hook, due to the way he murdered his victims. Those that did not, or could not pay up, he would take his victim bound and gagged, and hang him on a meat hook, piercing the victim's rib cage with the meat hook and then torture him to death with a blow torch. The torch would not actually be the cause of death. The victims most often died from suffocation. Early crimes He was born to first-generation immigrants from Naples, Italy. A high-ranking member of the Chicago outfit, La Pietra had an extensive criminal record stretching back to 1939 that included murder, kidnapping and narcotics. He was involved in criminal operations in the suburb of Cicero, Illinois, as well as in Chicago's first ward. La Pietra was a top enforcer under outfit boss Joseph, Joey Doves, IIPL for Cicero criminal operations. As the result of a five-year federal investigation into organized crime following the murder of a small-time Kansas City, Missouri mobster, La Pietra was indicted along with Iapa, Jackie, the Lackey, Saron, and other 15 mobsters from five cities. La Pietra was later accused by a Kansas City grand jury with skimming an estimated $2 million from syndicate-controlled Las Vegas casinos. Federal authorities further charged that, by using money from the Teamsters Union Central States Pension Fund, the mobsters were able to consolidate their control over Las Vegas casinos during the 1950s and 1960s. Federal agents had also recorded at least 12,000 hours of phone conversations through wiretaps from organized crime figures in Kansas, Missouri, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Illinois and Nevada, over a period of four years. In July 1984, La Pietra's attorney Louis Carbonara requested to federally appointed Judge Joseph A. Stevens, Jr. to have the tapes be transcribed and made available for the defendants. However, due to opposition from Chief David B. B. Helfrey, the U.S. Department of Justice's organized crime strike force in Kansas City, Missouri refused to transcribe the tapes claiming the difficulties regarding the numerous jurisdictions involved in wiretapping. This issue among other factors, caused a series of continuances and delays as the case continued for two years and, by September 1985, was called by law enforcement officials as one of the longest in 20 years of prosecution into organized crime. While in prison in Connecticut, 1988, he was disciplined and moved to a more secure prison in Virginia. His soldiers, Shorty and brother Jimmy were caught smuggling in his favorite Italian food from Chicago. Guilty plea in prison time on January 21, 1986, Aipa, Saron and La Pietra pleaded guilty to conspiring to conceal ownership in a syndicate-controlled Las Vegas casino. La Pietra was sentenced to 16 years imprisonment and fined $143,409. Iapa and Saron were sentenced to 28 and a half years imprisonment and fined $43,000 and $430,324 respectively. In October 1996, the 25th Ward Alderman Danny Solis, appointed by Mayor Richard M. Daly, presented La Piedra a plaque and award for his leadership and commitment to the community. It recognized him and the Italian club as decision makers. Death in 1999, La Pietra died of natural causes a few short years after his release from prison. He is buried along with many other mobsters at Queen of Heaven Cemetery in Hillside, a western suburb of Chicago. References Sources DeVito, Carlo. The Encyclopedia of International Organized Crime. New York. Facts on File Incorporated. 2005. ISBN 0-8160-4848-7. External links Chicago Outfit Organizational Chart Angelo La Pietra Mafia News Archive on the Chicago Syndicate.com IHO Imposing Trusteeship on the Chicago District Council Chicago Sun-Times. The New Outfit by Steve Warmber, Angelo J. La Pietra. Find a Grave. Retrieved June 25th. 
2013.